So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to the spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. Here he is, the undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you can never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as, as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Won't be long now, folks. Tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Lee! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Left hook counter. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defense. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Takedown defense holds up. Frantic pace early on to this one. And yet another hook connected there by Lee. Nice job defensively. He blocked that punch. What a beautiful high kick that landed there. Eats a jab there. While well, he continues to stay busy, what do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing him upside his opponent's head over and over again. Oh, and he lands another counter strike here. He has landed several in this round. 
And if you are a counter-striking stylist, you can do worse than watching this guy compete. Beautiful job defensively, head movement, foot movement, and ultimately finding a home for these counter shots repeatedly in this round. Trying to establish that jab once again. Lee's in half guard now. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Side control, side control. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style. Blocked. He gets it to knock. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Oh, you land island. Is that what we're doing here? Hook right in the down. clinch there by Lee. Right All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. And he counters with a left hand. Two minutes to go in round one. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the butt that would end the night. Oh, Superman punch! Yeah, he wants to draw his opponent in here, looking to set up another counter but he wants his opponent to strike first. Lee's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. He's trading huge shots. Let's see who's gonna be the last man standing. That was lightning fast, that right end. Nice block. All right, so perhaps he's gonna have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Oh! Under a minute now to go. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Oh, that killing is tough. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. He's got to start throwing now. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Oh. Round two is next. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. Let's go back to that. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. No All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Well, now that cut in the eye area, Daniel, becoming a major storyline, he's got to be careful. He's got to be very careful and address it right now before it gets to the point that there's nothing you can do about it. Straight punch. Useful. 
Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes. Oh, oh. Feels like the beginning of the end. Oh! Oh, nice kick. Big knee. Both fighters throwing heat now. Just missed with the left there. Lee's blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged leg. Double leg. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Oh, hammer fist here by Lee. And there you go again, half guard. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Lee's cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. Nice kick. Oh, no. Big right hand. Oh, he's got a guillotine. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defender's done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm and patient. And back to his feet. at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Big ground and pound. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse and it's only going to continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. All right, the official decision is inside the octagon. That's where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, one second of the second round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. All right, so a big result for a big man tonight as his star continues to shine. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the, the world. The baddest man on the planet is standing in the middle of that octagon right now. Over and over, you see him get new belts. The UFC heavyweight champion remains the same.